please for my returning subscribers thank you so much for returning back here thank you for your love and your support i really appreciate much but if it is your first time here on my channel please please before you leave remember to subscribe and when you subscribe automatically youtube puts your bell on so that whenever i upload a new video you will be the first one to be notified so make sure you click that subscribe button thank you so much so dear friends in our today's video we are going to be having a story time of a nigerian lady by the name of mary or you can just decide to call her marie marie found love on online dating app after two years of searching and she found love with a romanian guy but that romanian guy works and lives in the netherlands like i told you guys it took her two good years to succeed on online dating apps yeah to find that right guy it wasn't easy at all she went through a lot came across men of all kind so as someone who is on online dating apps searching for that right man when you come across the type of guys that marie came across then you know how to deal with them then you don't fall into their traps yeah because we are here to share with you all the tips because in her story you are going to be learning tips and tricks of an online dating apps without forgetting marie is going to be sharing the name of the app where she found the one and also there is a very important trick that i know it's going to help most of you guys that are using that dating app so stick here watch the video till the end <laughs> yeah so guys marie's story starts when she checked me on instagram yeah that was 2021 and guys i know i'm aware that most of you that watches my videos it's because you are looking for love yes i have people who just support me because they love me they love to watch my story times but it's not that they are searching actually maybe they are married but the majority you guys are still searching so marie too was here watching me because she was on the dating apps searching for love so after coming across my youtube channel she could watch my videos so that she can learn those tips and tricks to help her find the right guy so as she kept on watching my videos because i've said she was on the dating apps yeah got a message from a swedish guy and they started talking with that swedish guy but there was a problem <laughs> that swedish guy started talking about 50 50 was like i would like to come and visit you in nigeria but we have to share my traveling costs <laughs> yeah oh i pay the ticket then you pay the accommodation that's how i will see your commitment for marie it really sounded very strange because tells us or even told that guy that in my country where i come from there is nothing like 50 50 men take care of their girlfriends you know of their wives of their families so this is really strange but wanted to also hear from me what i have to advise her so marie reached to me on instagram and told me this whole story that i'm telling you of 50 50 of this swedish guy so after reading her messages i first had to ask her some questions then guided her i told her marie you know before i give you any advice the first thing is what kind of a woman are you are you a woman that is okay with 50 50 kind of a relationship have you ever dreamt of that if the answer is yes then go ahead with that swedish guy but if the answer is no then get to talk to him 
make him understand that you know what yes i like you you're so good but for me doing 50 50 kind of a relationship it's not something i am willing to do because it's not in our culture and me as a woman i'm not going for that then marie was like it's okay thank you so much for your advice then went and talked to that swedish guy but the swedish guy kept on insisting you know <laughs> on 50 50 on marie paying for the accommodation or just dividing his whole trip to nigeria <laughs> and i was like what kind of a guy is this you know <laughs> at least he should be doing something to show you i am capable you know i can take care of you <laughs> i am serious with you but no <laughs> first meeting he's talking of splitting the bills so in the end marie had to follow my advice that no i should leave this guy so left that swedish guy and kept on with her search it did not end there so yeah after the story with the swedish guy ended marie kept on with her search but i also told her that if she will come again wanting my guidance has to pay the fee and was like it's okay bella i will do that and yes guys eventually she did so as she continued with the search came across a polish guy this Polish guy, oh my God, he was super good, very caring, very respectful, never talked about nude pictures or asking for weird, weird video calls, nothing like that. And in just few time of them communicating, this guy was already in love with Marie. <laughs> Told Marie, I'm so much in love with you and I'm not someone who likes chatting a lot for so long before meeting you. So I think I should start planning to come to Nigeria to meet you in person. Marie came to me, told me about this Polish guy. I was like, wow, that's super, super good. <laughs> I'm happy this guy is talking about meeting. So guys, they started planning for his trip to Nigeria to go visit Marie. And as they were planning for that trip, to Nigeria, he told her that, you know, I had not planned for this trip, so I don't have much money to spend when I come there. If I come with $300, will it be enough for us to eat and drink for the period of time I will be there? Then that's when Marie came to me again to ask for an advice, like, what can I do here? So guys, Marie asked me, Bella, what can I tell him? Can I tell him to add more money? Because life in Abuja is really expensive. If you really want to have fun, that $300 is not enough. So I told Marie, yes, I think you should tell him to add another 100 euros so that it is 400 euros. And then you are going to see how to manage that. Don't take him to very expensive places. You know, go to these normal, normal restaurants, eat normally, and maybe only one time you can just go to that beautiful romantic dinner. Plus, you can give him a hand of help, you know, here and there. Maybe sometime you'll be like, no, today I'm going to cook for you some dinner. <laughs> or you can offer, you know, take him out for lunch, you know, very affordable right? restaurants manage that 400 euros it is totally possible because what matters is how you spend it marie was like okay no problem bella thank you i understand i'll talk to him and i remember also adding that she should make sure she takes him to nice affordable restaurants so that she doesn't just take him <laughs> To any of these places and then this guy gets you know food poison starts getting stomach problems nothing like that because nice affordable places are there whereby you can just eat good food <laughs> but not expensive i added something else i was like you will offer all this like you know <laughs> to help him maybe cook or once in a while you offer for you know lunch or dinner if this guy is really serious 
if he has good intentions with you. Mary was like, for me, how I feel, how I see this guy, he is kind of genuine. He seems to be a good guy. I was like, then that's okay. So they continued with their plans for this Polish guy to go to Nigeria. And from that time, I didn't hear from Mary. Then past some time, she came back, was like, Bella, you can't imagine. This guy just bought his ticket today. I am so happy, super excited. Bella, thank you so much. I really wish you could be here so that I can give you a hug. I was like, you're welcome, girl. But one day, yes, we'll have that real real hug <laughs> yeah so time for that guy to go to nigeria came and yes he went to nigeria when he arrived again mary updated me was like he is here and i'm so happy he treats me good he's so caring he has been helping he's very affectionate <laughs> I was really happy and told her to enjoy, but after some few days, she returned again and told me some, some things that everything is going well, except the guy is impatient. <laughs> He's complaining a lot of everything. If maybe they order something, it arrives late or they call for Uber. Uber takes time to arrive. He starts getting nervous and angry. I was like, is he aggressive? She told me, no, Bella, he is not aggressive, but he is impatient. So <laughs> from me who is far away, I felt like, cause this guy, it was his first time to be in Africa. And even when he told his friends that he was going to Africa, they started telling him, oh, it's not safe. So that is why he never wanted to even carry lots of money. Even his cards, bank cards, he never brought them. <laughs> yeah, cause they were like, Nigeria, it is not a safe place. Lots of scammers, what are you gonna be doing in Nigeria? You know, those kind of stuff. So me hearing he is is becoming so impatient of everything complaining I was like Mary tell that white guy he is in Africa this is Africa <laughs> he should learn to be patient <laughs> so I didn't take it so seriously guys I just thought he is someone in a new country and everything seems new it is overwhelming that is why but mary came back again and was like no even you know between them the guy is becoming impatient with her and mary has told him that i don't like this so they even got into a fight same same anger issue and mary was so pissed off then he had to kneel down like the whole day like telling mary forgive me forgive me forgive me I told Mary that this thing of being impatient, <laughs> getting nervous, uh, it is common, common in most white guys from some countries. I did a video here and I told you like how to date men from different countries. And I remember even talking of Italian guys, I told you they have that temper, you know, <laughs> sometime. And I remember joking to Mary, I was like, if I give you my husband, you are going to return him back to me. Same, same day. She laughed a lot and we really laughed about it. Then I was like, yeah, but stand on your grounds. Show the guy that you don't like that. Him getting angry, you know, for no reason, getting nervous. Yeah, so let him know where you stand. Mary was like, yes, Bella, <laughs> my eyes are wide open. And I also remember advising her to be kind patient with him as she keeps on getting to know this guy very, very well. Because if Mary told me the guy was aggressive, when he gets angry, he becomes aggressive. That same, same day, I could have told Mary that stop, end it with this guy. But it wasn't like that. And Mary was like, yes, Bella, I'll try to be patient with him. So now comes the real Afro <laughs> cinema. So before this Polish guy leaves Nigeria, Mary's phone got spoiled. And when that phone got spoiled, he was there, then asked her what kind of phone she wants if he is to buy for her a phone. And Mary was like, an iPhone? Guess what this guy responded to Mary? He was like, 
For me to buy for you an iPhone, you have to be my prostitute first. Or be my prostitute, then I will buy you an iPhone. Oh my God. Mary was in a shock. Couldn't believe it at all, at all. She got pissed off and the guy was like, no, Mary, you know, it was just a stupid joke. Please forgive me. He knelt down and asked for forgiveness. Mary had to forgive him and, you know, let go, keep on with their relationship. And guys, this whole thing of the phone and his response, I came to know this later. And I'll tell you when <laughs> I came to know about this whole story. So they kept on enjoying good times in Nigeria. And then Mary brought this topic, talked of how dating and marriage is in Nigeria. It's like, <laughs> so she told this Polish guy, men in Nigeria takes care of all responsibilities of their wives or their girlfriends. And this Polish guy was like, no, for us in Poland, it's not like that. Men do that. If you are a prostitute, then yes, he is going to pay your bills. But if you are not a prostitute and then he pays your bills, then he will tend to disrespect you as a lady. Oh my goodness. Mary was totally shocked. <laughs> so asked him if we get married, how things are going to be, you know, financially. <laughs> he was like, if we get married, then we are going to be splitting the bills, but mine will be higher. I know my salary will be higher than yours. Mary was like, so if we have kids and there is, you know, paying school fees, who pays for the school fees? He was like, we are going to divide it into two. Both of us will pay for the kids' school fees. Oh, wow. So he stayed for two weeks in Nigeria. And as he was still there, Mary's contract because Mary was working with this big organization. It is an international organization that I cannot mention here. Yeah, <laughs> but her contract ended and she was waiting for it to be renewed. Two weeks ended and this guy had to return back to Poland. Wait for another Afro cinema. When he returned to Poland, they made a video call. And as they were on a video call, Mary tells us she had this suitcase and he started laughing how Mary calls that suitcase a suitcase box. He added, I can kill you and cut you into pieces, then put you in that suitcase, lock you there. Oh my goodness. Mary was speechless. But the guy was laughing about it and told Mary, why aren't you laughing? I'm just making a stupid joke. But Mary tells us and also told the guy, how would I laugh at something like that? It sounds horrible and scary. Actually, guys, Mary got scared. But he was like, you know what? I treat you as a friend and a lover. That is why I am free to crack jokes. But for Mary, it didn't sit well. And guys, maybe that guy was a psychopath because who brings such kind of a joke? What a joke. Again, guys, even this, I came to know it later. Okay? Yeah. So Mary continued, you know, communicating with this guy. But in her head already had lots lots of things that were not sitting right like these jokes that the guy could bring and again remember the anger issue but she was like let me keep on observing to see how it will go so yes they continued their relationship but he started changing suddenly started ignoring mary's messages 
Whenever she could send messages to him, he could ignore them for a day or two. He could tell Mary, I've been super, super busy with work, you know, for you, because you don't have a job, you're just uh, there, you have nothing to do. So that is why you have all that time to send messages to me. But just know that I am working really hard. Oh my God, Mary was surprised and told him, you could have told me that you are busy with work. I could have understood. But you telling me that I'm sending you messages just because I am idle, I don't have a job, that's not good. But yeah, the guy never said, I'm sorry or anything like that. No, he stood to his words. You are idle. That is why you're checking me. Just know that I am busy. So what Mary decided to do also when he checked her, she decided to keep quiet for the whole day. <laughs> And that is when he sent her another message complaining, oh, I see, maybe you want a breakup. <laughs> and she was like, yeah, this is how it feels when someone ignores you. <laughs> yeah. So it seemed like they had solved that communication problem. And before he left, he had told Mary he wants to invite her, go to Poland to see his life. So when they started again communicating after solving that problem, he asked Mary again, if you come to visit me, who is paying for your trip? And Mary was like, of course you. And he was like, huh? <laughs> yeah, but told Mary, no, you are the one who will pay for your trip. Then he added, so when you come here, where are you going to stay? And Mary was like, of course, at your place. You're the one inviting me <laughs> to Poland. I should stay at your place. He was like, no. That's when Mary told him, you know what? I am not coming to Poland and better use that money to go to Zanzibar because she had planned with her friends to go to Zanzibar and enjoy. Then he was like, no, you can't go to Zanzibar with your friends. If you are to go to Zanzibar, you have to wait for me so that we can go together. But Mary was like, no, no, no. And at that time, you know, yes, she was still talking to him, but in her mind, you know, had accepted that this will not work at all at all so guys that's the time that mary came to me and told me everything was like bella i'm leaving this guy today i'm breaking up with him <laughs> so she told me you know the whole prostitute story you know about splitting the bills him asking her to pay for her trip to Poland and also the accommodation. <laughs> yeah, she was like, Bella, I have tried my best, but no, no, no. And then added some details that really made my blood to boil the more because apparently the Polish guy started complaining to Mary that, you know, when I came to Nigeria, you never contributed enough money. That is why we got an apartment that didn't have a balcony for me to get the sun. If you could have contributed the more, we could have got a very good apartment with a balcony. <laughs> so he was blaming Mary for not contributing enough money on his trip. Imagine guys. And that's when Mary told me, you know what, Bella? I paid for this guy's visa to Nigeria, $300. And I thought this guy, when he arrives in Nigeria, will pay me back my money. And I was like, Mary, why didn't you tell me that you paid for this guy's visa to come to Nigeria? She was like, you know what, Bella, the thing is, <laughs> this guy could complain he's so busy at work. He cannot, you know, do the whole process of doing the visa. So I had to do everything myself and pay and i told her that is where the trap was because if you could have told this guy i am busy too at work i can't help you you know go through the whole visa process the application and the payments then from there 
we could have discovered that the guy is in 25050 because the thing is they chatted for a very short period of time there was no time for mary to ask this guy if he is in 25050 kind of a relationship because they switched to the visa process after a few days of them communicating so she was so overwhelmed of this guy's visit and got busy for his trip instead of asking this guy why are you coming here what is your intention are you into 50 50 <laughs> and all that yeah so let me hope you learn something even if a guy is running his race i told you it doesn't stop you from asking him questions because one mistake they say one goal you ignore one red flag later it will make you cry yeah so yes mary told me she paid for his visa and also traveled to abuja paid for her flight to abuja to meet this guy <laughs> and guys for me i have been against this it's not that you know we have to show these men that we are irresponsible we can't take care of ourselves just a simple thing to do you can't do it no even if you are in a position to do it you are not supposed to do it simply because we need to see his efforts please please i also remember my baby cools those who know schools her fiance is polish too and at the time that polish guy was going to uganda cools asked me who pays for my trip to go to the airport because where cools was living and to the airport it was really really far also mary mary was living very very far from abuja so had to take a flight to abuja but to do what to meet this guy if this guy wasn't coming mary was not going to travel from that city where she lived to abuja and that's why the guy should take care of that but if the fare is very little maybe it's a bus fare or you can just take a tuk-tuk it is very little money you know <laughs> just like nothing you live near to the airport then in that case don't ask anything from that guy but if you are very far let him know that you are very far from the airport and it will cost you a lot to go to the airport to pick him so what he will do he will follow you where you are you will meet there you know if it is in another city where there is no international airport he will drop to that international airport and then follow you to where you are especially especially guys if you are not sure if that guy is the one if you're not sure of his real intentions with you but yeah, with Mary paid for her flight to Abuja, which was expensive and also tells us when he was there, you know, in Nigeria, she could offer to buy things maybe at the supermarket. When they go out, she could contribute. But in the end, this guy is complaining that, you know what, I've returned to Poland and I've thought about it. You did not contribute enough money. So you tell me, this is the same, same guy that is telling Mary, if they get married, he will be paying more on the bills and Mary little. But he has started already to complain that she contributed little <laughs> in his trip. You see? What don't even match the actions even if mary was like yes i'm in 250 50 this could backfire her in the future they could have been fighting all the time because of the bills sharing so and he started telling her because i told you her contract had ended she was waiting for it to be renewed so he told her i know you don't have a job don't expect that i'm going to be taking care of your responsibilities oh my god what a boyfriend <laughs> that is why guys i've been telling you protect your goodies 
<laughs> no one is gonna come enjoy Africa and at the same time take your goodies <laughs> <laughs> then start acting cheap no 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 it's not that i'm telling you when you give it that it's like you know you're selling or what no but it is normal if you love me if you really plan to marry me at least you should be caring you should be thinking like how am i surviving <laughs> <laughs> but the truth is mary wasn't in that situation of desperacy like she wants his help she can't eat she can't pay the rent no remember i was working with the biggest <laughs> international organization so there was no way <laughs> mary was broke but this guy had to put his hands up front <laughs> don't ask me anything don't think i'm gonna be taking care of your responsibilities <laughs> if you're my boyfriend i will leave you that same same day i can't pretend you are my boyfriend i should count on you and it's not that i'm a scammer you came to see me in nigeria hey we stayed together <laughs> so why act as if i'm a scammer why act as if i'm a stranger to you so apart from mary contributing here and there she also bought very expensive gifts for this guy <laughs> imagine <laughs> so at that time mary was like i'm ending everything i was like yes girl no 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 if this is how this guy is no way and the way he is saying that is how it is in Poland, you know, splitting the bills, it's not true. I know ladies married to Polish guys and these guys are taking a very good care of these African ladies married to them. There is nothing like splitting the bills. So it is not all Polish guys. He should just say that is how he is. So yes, guys, they ended it. And after ending it later, Mary did not block him. He returned and started talking to Mary, like giving her an advice. <laughs> Still talking of 50-50. I'm going to be putting his messages here so that your blood can boil too. Because me going again to these messages, it makes my blood boil. Because the way this guy was talking is as if black African women are lazy, are irresponsible. And he said it, by the way, in the messages. But I was like, tell the guy to shut up. Because we are not like that. There is no woman that likes to stay at home without earning anything. And the thing is, it's not that if this guy married Mary and Mary found a job in Poland, wasn't going to, you know, give him a hand of help. What we were against of is that agreement or feeling like someone is forcing you to pay the bills. That is wrong, 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 wrong. So I told Mary to make him understand, but there was no way this guy was going to understand or oh, I've worked for my money. The guy was selfish, self-centered. So if you're chatting with a guy and you sense that, or you start hearing the guy complaining of his money, 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 that's a red flag. When you are chatting with a guy, my babies, you know. I always give you this question to ask a guy. Is he into 50-50? Why is that? So that you don't find yourself in a situation that Mary found herself in. You should know how things are gonna be. <laughs> don't wait for a surprise. <laughs> you get married and he's like, look for a job, we split the bills. <laughs> so friends, these are the texts of the Polish guy to Mary. And I won't be explaining like much, much just to read through <laughs> so that you get to understand better. But as you can see, this guy was trying to tell Mary that we are uncivilized because he's like in the civilized world. <laughs> ah! And guys, as you can see, this guy makes it clear that Polish women are more independent than black African women. But what he forgot is that Poland is in Europe and Nigeria is in Africa, okay? We have different culture and traditions. The way we were brought up, it's different with how Polish women were brought up. So that itself tells him, do not compare. <laughs>
And guys, I won't lie to you. It's okay to think differently, okay? It's totally fine. But what I can say is this guy, his mind was sick. Because how does someone think buying gifts for the girlfriend, it's like buying her, buying her love. <laughs> He's actually asking, <laughs> what are you going to give me? What do you have to offer me if I'm to do all these things for you? <laughs> this tells you who is this guy. And to make things clear, guys, Mary never asked this guy for money, never asked money for data, never asked money to buy a computer. No, they were just talking of how the future is going to be, like how things are. Mary wanted to know. I told you guys that, yes, she had made a mistake of not asking from the start before this guy went to nigeria but after meeting they talked about it and then discovered this guy thinks differently so she was trying to make him understand this is how we do things but it doesn't mean mary never wanted to look for a job it doesn't mean mary was just lazy you know wanted just to get married and stay at home no actually guys like i said Mary was working with a big international organization, but later on her contract expired. So she was waiting for her contract to be renewed. And later guys, Mary found another job. So it's not that Mary was just uh, at home or thought I've got a white guy from Poland. I'm going to be getting money from him. No, nothing like that. To add on that guys, Mary paid for this guy visa. $300. If you're an African watching this, you know $300 is not small money in Africa, especially if you're not paid all that high. <laughs> high, high, high. I remember myself when I was still in Africa. One time I was employed and I remember my salary being $200. So if this guy could have asked me, <laughs> <laughs> to pay $300 for his visa, I couldn't manage, you know, but exist people in Africa who paid well, like maybe a thousand dollars, a thousand and five hundred dollars. Yes, they exist, but they are few. Majority, the salaries are low. So Mary managing 300, it tells you she was an independent woman, you know, <laughs> with her money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah plus she paid for her flight ticket could also contribute here and there but this guy does not see all that
is telling her my friend said maybe you want to be a stay-at-home mom <laughs> maybe that's your dream but it's not like that so these people are talking two different languages if you ever come across a guy like this one no 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 run so i'm calling all muzungu wives <laughs> you guys married to white guys in the comment section tell us do you guys do 50 50 kind of a relationship <laughs> please please help 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 but as for me i'm married yes to an italian guy no i am not into a 50 50 kind of a relationship my husband does it all like he pays the bills because for italian guys it's a man's responsibility to take care of the wife but of course yes if i decided to contribute i contribute though he complains no don't do that don't do it <laughs> but yeah once in a while help 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 if you are working help your husband but these things of forcing each other no especially if it's not what you believe in if you don't believe in a 50 50 kind of a relationship because i know exist ladies who believe in that who accept that so please please i expect your comment in the comment section muzungu's wives <laughs>
So yeah, Mary ended that, but it's not that she was all that happy that it has ended. You know, deep inside, you have shared lots of things with a guy. You hoped maybe he'll be the one. So yes, she was kind, sad about it. I had to encourage her and tell her, move on. Thank God it happened now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and yes, if you want to go to Zanzibar, go to Zanzibar. Have fun with your friends. Take a break then come back again. <laughs> so yes, she took a break and then came back. When she came back, found an Italian guy. The guy was 42 and she also told me where he comes from in Italy because I wanted to know. He was working in a ship, especially during summer period. So she gave me the details about this Italian guy and I gave her some questions to ask. He responded in a very good, good way. They were planning to meet and he wanted to invite Mary to Italy. But we don't really know what happened <laughs> if it is village people or what because <laughs> there is something that mary shared with me but i have not asked mary about this if i should share it or not so i won't share it but yeah kind of village people <laughs> yeah because they never fought <laughs> Never ever fought, but the guy disappeared. She was really sad, very, very sad. Then met a Romanian guy who was in Norway. Chatted a bit, but later on came to know he was not serious. Then here comes a guy from Denmark. <laughs> All was good, they were chatting really, really good. But again, this guy started complaining of the distance. How many of you have faced this? On the dating apps <laughs> please write the comment in the comment section because I know the ladies that reached out to me this has been a very biggest problem Bella men are complaining I am very far what I always advise you is that ignore ignore any guy that tells you you are very far from me yeah because if a man truly loves you what is the distance? <laughs> they will come. We have seen lots of success stories here on my channel of these white guys from America, from Europe, going to Africa for their queens, for their girlfriends. You know, they didn't complain about the distance. So that itself should give you the courage to keep moving, knowing that one day that guy that won't complain about the distance will come don't stick to that and be like this is the biggest problem i'll never find anyone because i am very far most are complaining i am far most yes but not all so we see even mary came across that challenge a guy complaining he is very far he was good but he had to wish her all the best in her search and then came a polish guy this polish guy he was way way older than mary but mary was like let me just give it a try and see <laughs> you know so they started chatting the guy was super super good but after everything going you know this guy told mary my conscious you know <laughs> you are too young and really i don't want you to suffer later you know even if we have kids you're just going to remain as a single parent i am old you'll have to take care of me i don't want you to live a happy life but you're such a great woman and i would like us you know to keep being friends. So whenever you have any problem, let me know. I am going to, <laughs> to help. I'll be happy to help. I don't want to stress about anything. Oh my God, Mary was happy. They kept on talking. And yes, this guy wanted to come to Nigeria, you know, visit Nigeria and get to meet Mary. Mary was like, cool. She went with the flow. So yes, the guy planned for his trip and told Mary, write the list of everything <laughs> that you want me to bring for you, the gifts. <laughs> and yes, guys applied for his visa when it was out he went to nigeria yes mary was happy to eventually meet him and tells us 
never even spent a coin for the time that guy was in Nigeria. So they stayed together, yes, but slept different rooms. They could just meet in the morning, you know, for breakfast, talk, spend time together. Mary could take him around. They really enjoyed each other's company. And what I can say about this Polish guy, oh my God, he is the best very very respectful never wanted to take advantage of mary because even before going to nigeria when they had started talking he sent her money tells us it was something like 165 euros so they really enjoyed and eventually he returned to poland but they continued you know communicating he continued like spoiling her <laughs> sending her money 300 euros 500 euros you know 200 euros all the time could really want to spoil her and could treat her just like a daughter but mary kept on searching for love online as she kept on communicating with this polish friend of hers then in between there met a guy from switzerland they chatted all was good but this guy wanted mary to be the one to go to to switzerland but mary was scared she was like no better this guy comes to nigeria <laughs> then i will go to switzerland but the guy refused completely eventually they had to end it too sadly so from there mary took another break if you saw the post that I posted on Instagram, she was telling you that online dating can be draining. Yeah, it's because she has been there. She has faced all challenges that you guys are facing right now. <laughs> so yes, Mary took a break from dating apps. Oh my God, it was really down because you try and try and try and try nothing. Try and try and try and then it seems like it's working nothing. So with a friend in Poland even offered to pay for her master's, told her to apply for her master's. And yes, she did that. It was like maybe this man was sent by God. Yes, I prayed for a husband, but maybe God decided to bring this man to help me. So I will take it the positive way. And so at the same time, kept on watching my videos and sometimes could write to me, Bella, <laughs> though I have given up on the apps, I still watch your videos. And when I watch them, they encourage me. <laughs> they make me feel like going back. So yes, eventually Mary decided to go back to the dating app and guess what guys few weeks of being back to that dating app met this romanian guy who works in the netherlands he works and lives there so after chatting for a while that is when mary came back to me again this was january 2023 was like Bella, I found this guy, told me everything about the guy. He's so good, he's so respectful. And Mary at that time was working with a humanitarian organization which deals with kids. So when he got to know about that, he sent a hundred euros just for the kids. Mary was super, super happy and was like, oh my God, it's been a few days and this guy is this generous to kids oh my god <laughs> she was like mm, i was really not so sure of dating a romanian guy but this guy is proving me wrong <laughs> yeah he has been really really good also told mary you need to start learning dutch and paid for her for this app called Babel so that mary can learn dutch <laughs> And this is very, very important. So when Mary told me about that, I was like, Mary, that's a good guy. That guy is serious. Him telling you to study Dutch language, it means I am planning a future with you. Eventually, you will have to go to the Netherlands and you knowing Dutch, it will help you integrate, you know, <laughs> yeah, in the Netherlands. So it's important. Don't just take it lightly. She was like, okay, Bella, thank you so much. I will keep updating you. So around October, Mary came back to me for an update and told me that they were talking on meeting, but the guy proposed that 
Mary should be the one to go to Romania. So he was talking of sending her an invitation letter, but told her it takes some time to get it and this guy wanted to be with mary very very soon so later they decided that he would be the one to go to nigeria first so that october told me that bella the guy has introduced me to almost everyone <laughs> close to him his nieces his uncle his brother oh my god everyone friends <laughs> yeah she was happy and i told her that's a good sign so yeah from that time yes i could chat with mary here and there when i post something she reacts about it <laughs> yes guys until this saturday that is when she came back to me you know to give me the good news was like bella my romanian guy eventually came and i am engaged he proposed oh my god i was super super happy he's so caring he's so generous he's so loving and he was super super good with my family never ever made me pay for anything actually he is the one that takes care of me and it's not that i am not working no the guy is just responsible oh my god i was happy i told mary i'm so happy for you congratulations girl <laughs> and another thing about mary is such a nice lady i always tell her in the voice notes that don't worry you will eventually find the right guy because you are a very beautiful woman a very responsible woman a nice woman there is no way that you won't find the right guy so getting good news i told god thank you thank you thank you another of my baby out of the market hi bella good morning um I forgot to tell you so um within the first week of chatting um video calls he made in his intention known to me that he wanted a serious thing and he was beginning to fall in love and in a space of one month he introduced me to his only brother he introduced me to his brother's wife their kids and before you know it, as time goes on, he just just meet his uncle, his auntie, his friends, his colleagues. Everybody knew about me. And he's super patient. I've never been with someone who is this patient. I won't lie to you. He's super, super patient. And what made me fall in love with him was his empathy the way he shows kindness to people for me yes i'm look, like i want i wanted a man who would love me but not just me alone who would can extend love to people around not for my relatives but people around like not just for my relatives alone so when i told him about the kind of job i am doing as a humanitarian worker and then I showed him some videos of some kids and this guy started sending me money from the first month of our chat he started, started sending me money every month to buy food to buy shoes to buy detergents and other things snacks for these kids some months we could do 10 some months 20 some and as then as at then he has never sent me one naira to say or one euro to say take and buy a or anything but for me i told myself i'm not going to ask him for anything but if he feels like he wants to help others and don't want to help me it's okay and fast forward to like three four three months four months i wanted to travel somewhere and he just opted to pay for my round uh ticket flight and from then he has been so nice so caring and everything probably he wanted to know if i would be asking for money or something 
because most people if he tells them oh where's your girlfriend from nigeria oh my goodness they ask scammers be careful of nigerians nigerians are abcd i told him yes i don't dispute nigerians are whatever people say but it's just a small part of nigeria just a very bit part of people from nigeria that are like that but there are still good people from nigeria that are honest and kind and i let him um understood it even when he came he was scared you know once he's getting dark he wants to go inside he don't want to stay outside but he now discover it was all lies about nigerian people he saw how people here were warm were kind were all smiling and welcoming and he felt so so relaxed he was so heartbroken going because he wanted to stay more he enjoyed the food he enjoyed everything it was just the sun yes it was just the sun because he was coming out from like 10 to 12 degrees and coming to 40 <laughs> it wasn't easy but i think that was the only thing he had a little bit issue of was the sun but any other thing he loved it i have never sat down for once and start thinking oh my goodness what if this guy leaves me oh my goodness what if he see another lady no for 11 months now he has been so 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 transparent even when i don't talk to him i can tell you this is what he does this is what he do this is where he is at and it's just different my mind has been at ease at peace i have never worried about anything towards him and he has never ever disrespected me up till date yeah so congratulations girl on your engagement guys let us wish mary all the best in her relationship and the reason i told you guys that mary is such a nice lady i know her on that friend side because i told you guys that even if you are my client i treat you as a friend as a sister yeah so we had that you know personal relationship and she has been the best not only that, if you remember, there is a post I posted on my YouTube. There is a lady who was advising you guys on how to use VPN if you are in Nigeria, West African countries. That's Mary. She always likes to share. <laughs> Goodies lovers, I almost forgot. <laughs> Bella, did they enjoy the goodies when the Romanian guy went to Nigeria? The answer is yes. They enjoyed the goodies and Mary tells you that it went super good. Perfect, perfect. <laughs> yeah, so let me hope. Goodies lovers, you are happy now. <laughs> so yes, guys, that is how Mary found love. So the name of the dating app where Mary found love, she found him on Tinder. <laughs> yes, Tinder, our famous, famous one <laughs> that you all are scared of. It's such a good dating app if you use it wisely with your eyes wide open. And on this, just like I promised when I started this video, Mary will be sharing with you how to see men global, even if you're using Tinder for free, because she found him for free, never paid for Tinder, but he was paying. And most of you have been complaining, Bella, I'm on Tinder, but I don't see men globally. They bring white guys, who are just here <laughs> in my location. But Mary tells you that, you know, most white guys that Tinder can propose that are near to you, either those are sex tourists or scammers pretending <laughs> to be white guys. But when you put global, it helps you to know that the guy is really far away from you. It's not that there is someone in Nigeria trying or in ghana or in uganda trying to pretend to be a white guy maybe from switzerland so i know this will help you a lot enjoy her explanation hi bella 
So once you open on Tinder, this is what you see where you can swap left and right. Then you come here which has the human icon form. Once you tap it, you see your profile, you tap on settings. And then this is what it shows your Tinder, whatever, whatever if you want to pay. So you come down and um, it shows you location, your current location. So with this, it, you can only see people around this. It, you can only see people around you or your country or community. Then you make sure you keep this, you tap this global to keep it in check and then the maximum distance so if you put let's say 20 miles 10 miles 100 miles you only see people within that uh miles from you but when you keep it as one always keep it as one and then that's it so you keep on um swiping sometimes when you swipe 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 it tells you you run out of match and then you keep you close tinder and open it again and it gives you options so maybe the first few tries it might not show you white people but when you keep on doing it it starts showing you some white guys from different countries and that's how i met mine so friends now i know that you would want to know what is the next plan because he went to nigeria they got engaged but still in a long distance relationship. So Bella, what is the next plan? What is the next move? <laughs> Let me hope this guy won't disappear. No, they have good plans, guys. They have plans. And I told you, a guy who is serious will have plans. He's coming to visit you. After that, what next? So the next move is that Mary will go to the Netherlands because this guy works in the Netherlands, see his life. And then after he will take her to Romania to see his parents, his relatives, you know, his country of origin. It's so important when you are online, you come across a guy, he works in a different country, which is not the country of his origin. If he is to invite you, you make sure you visit both countries because some guys will be in a certain country working. It's not the country of their origin, but in their countries, they have good families, they have good wives. So he will tell you, okay, for example, this guy, he works in Switzerland, but he is from Italy. <laughs> okay, so you will go visit Switzerland, get to see his life, his real life there current life and then go to italy get to meet his family <laughs> get to see if this guy does not have any fiance or wife girlfriend <laughs> there okay so let me hope this helps you in your search when you come across such kind of a situation and i promise you guys that when mary travels to the netherlands and to romania then i'm going to update you i'll update you on the community post i'll also update you on instagram you guys who follow me on instagram at african bella so dear friends we have reached to an end of our today's video be blessed for your support be blessed for watching till now give this video a thumbs up if you have liked it share it with your friends family everyone that you think will enjoy this video and learn something comment below what you think about this video if you have not watched my other videos that i did in the past go watch them they will help you very very much but if you have not subscribed to this channel what are you waiting for join the family and thank you for subscribing i love you so much guys you're always here in my heart <laughs> ciao ciao Mwah.